like your style Put you in Chanel cause it's just perfect for your smile Girl I swear for you I'd run the world, I'd run the miles The way you look at me I think I'm going insane Alright you guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be reacting as a rugby player to an American football player by the name of Gino Atkins. He's a defensive tackle for the Bengals. He's an absolute monster. Uh, I've seen him once before I think last year on the list. And without further ado I'm going to roll the intro and see you back here in a minute. The quicker you here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from the only thing we know is like you're blocking somebody that's 100 pounds heavier than he is. He's just got extreme power and strength and uses it. Luck back to throw against the ball man. Sacked. It's really hard to stop him from going where he's going, and, and you know already that you're in a lot of trouble. Oh, Wits. Wits always got an opinion on these big guys. Diesel strength. As I say, Gino's one of those guys that you can get in front of and feel like you've Got the block handled, but he's so powerful, he's just going to keep moving you backwards. He's in trouble! Yeah. Yeah. Back at the 20 yard line! Gino just overpowered. Look at these beasts going up against each other. You, know, you got to sit on that bull rush and you got to fight it as, as, as much as you can. He's a pretty relentless pass rusher. You know, he picks and chooses when he goes, but when he wants to come, he's one of the toughest bull rushes in the league. He's bullying you, he's running smack into you. Derek Carr drops back to pass. He's in trouble! Gino! I've got to say, I do, I do actually quite like the uh, the Bengals helmets and the Rams because they're not an actual logo stuck on it. It's just the whole paint job of the whole helmet. That's quite cool. And then the one time you lean on him, he tosses you to the side and goes around you. This guy is the leverage king. He plays with low pad level. He's so strong. I should probably be talking about. Geno Atkins play, shouldn't I? But really, all I'm thinking is, okay, where is this guy going to be placed on a rugby team? And he's too tall. He's too. These linemen are too big to be in the front of the scrum. They're honestly just bigger than most rugby players. Taller, heavier. I mean, they're going to be in the forwards for sure. Unless they really enjoy running with the ball and trying to break tackles, in which case i put them in the back line. But it's hard, man. It's hard. And if you don't have great technique, great feet, great hands, you'll never block him. He's got rare strength and power for a guy of his stature. What? Is he small or something? Are you telling me he's small? What, like 6'2"? 6'1"? 300 pounds. Ridiculous. I'm a freakish athlete. Um, when I first seen Gino, I'm thinking he's about like 6'5", like 3'30". And I see him like, oh, oh, like this Gino Hikers. He's not a heavy guy, not very tall. Being that smaller stature and you're trying to lean on a guy who feels that heavy and then all of a sudden he's able to just dip right under you and move around you. Oh, Gino it's hilarious how they're saying if six foot one at 300 pounds is small, huh? But that's American football for you. Hammers, Gino so vertically challenged. The, uh, <laughs> so vertically Gino challenged. Six Give him a break. Five games last year. And breach double digits for the third time. Shit, man. Third season with double digit sex. The second game of the year against the Ravens. Uh, I remember him kind of chasing down Joe Flacco and getting the sack. Pressure coming from his blind side. Begins scrambling to the left. Go Gino! Go Gino! Who makes the sack? Beautiful. He gets up and he doesn't even celebrate or anything, just smiles and looks at you. Gino? He just acts like this. Oh, good job, guys. Getting double teamed, sure, even sometimes when he's getting double teamed, he can get back there in less than a second. Every time he's in the backfield, it's just crazy. That's so great he play. Really do a lot of finesse moves. It's just he gets hands on. He usually rips off pretty easily. Gino Atkins single-handedly destroying the Oakland Raiders. Honestly, I have no clue what he does. So special, but it's like he can't be blocked. Yeah, it seems as if he can't be blocked because a guy who's six foot six trying to block a guy who's six foot one at the same weight as him with that lower center of gravity, it's not gonna be easy, is it? I I mean he picked me up with he picked me up with one hand and threw me out the stadium, to be honest with you. So with all that being said, 
In the next video, we're going to be looking at Kirk Cousins, the first quarterback of the list. Number 78 in the list. Uh, quarterback for the Vikings, Kirk Cousins. I'll see you then, guys. Have a fantastic day. Peace out.